so for about as long as I've been a beekeeper, wife and I have joked about not making any plans for Sunday afternoon, uh, right around two o'clock, because that's when the bees are going to swarm. It typically ours, anyways. Um, and true to form, about one o'clock, wife was out here and she saw a couple of little clouds. So running around crazy, we wound up putting a very small swarm in this little nuke right here that's still collecting. A little small one was gathering up right there. We threw them in a box, as well as up on the hill. That's our swarm tree. They like to hang out in that one before they take off too far. Um, with that said, I had a large gathering on one of the hives that I thought was going to also swarm, and then it disappeared. So I think what might have happened is the queen came out, did a test run, came back, and they all went in. Um, regardless of kind of knew this might happen, given that it was leaving the, all of our colonies a little bit strong. I must have missed a couple of queen cells somewhere. Um, so that's going to prompt me to go through these hives very thoroughly. Um, one, I want to see what may or may not have swarmed. The other is if there's any, any indication of uh, uh, a upcoming swarm, I want to try and isolate that queen and make sure that we can take care of those cups or swarm cells or at least check progress if we had to do an artificial swarm we will um, it was my intent to come out uh, right after i did the addition of some honey supers knowing that we had really strong colonies and i wanted to cut them back but we wound up with two full days of rain and everybody was trapped inside including us so today's the day we'll try and get some of these girls cut down if we need to and uh, hopefully get them and get across the finish line to uh, a good nectar flow. So come on along and we'll go through them and see what we find. So this is just a little swarm that we caught this morning. It was tiny. Oh, I wouldn't even hardly call it a swarm. But they seem persistent on it. And rather than get upset about it, I'm just going to augment them with some additional brood and call it a split. There should be a queen in here. Although I expect that she's probably a virgin queen. A lot of bees just fell off this frame. Uh, 
not to worry though. Help is on the way. We've got some additional resources we just took out of another hive. And it'll be some open brood to try and capture their interest in this little box. And we'll have some additional numbers to go with. So what I'm going to add to this is a sheet of some open brood. Mm -hmm. Some cap brood. And I've got a little frame with some food. And what we're essentially going to wind up doing is utilizing this virgin queen from this little tiny swarm. And we'll, we'll call this a split. Now I'm essentially going to do the same thing here. Okay, so I'm out here working on this little this little swarm that happened this morning, and I'm looking. We're not doing very good. We're taking the hint. So I'm going to have to reshape those girls, put them in there, and then I've also got some cat brood. I've already captured the queen. She's laying in a little holder here in the bottom. See where she's down here. So I've got I've got queen captured right in here. Actually, I'm gonna set her right here for just a second because I'm gonna stick her to a to a drawing comb. I finished up going through these hives. Um, I've cut, I've cut the, uh, I've cut them back quite a few. Um, on a number of them, I took two or more shakes of nurse bees over to the cell builder and shook them off. On a number of them, I have taken full sheets of brood out and moved them into nukes uh, and a walkaway split or two. The walkaway splits, the intent is in a couple days I'll go through and, and requeen those with some of the stock that we've already grafted. And the nukes, I'll do the same. And um, let's hope we get a good nectar flow here fairly shortly. Because if not, we're going to be doing the same thing again. I'm going to finish up the evening by gathering up these swarms that I got and getting them all situated. I'm going to take these new nukes and I'm going to set them up so on some stands. And we'll check back with you later. All right, so I'm out in the bee yard. It's the day after the three swarms. Actually, you wind up having a tiny swarm again this morning trying to figure out what was going on so I was going through these nukes you know seeing uh, see if I could kind of diagnose what was going on and I touched on it a little bit yesterday in that I thought maybe there was a possibility of multiple cells emerging at the same time and I came across this frame right here so if you're looking I've got one two three four on this one side of this frame. And I got a couple on this side. There's uh, you know, five, six, seven. Which one looks like it could have been chewed out by the side. But of the seven that were on here, almost every one of them looks like they were chewed out of the bottom, like we had an emergence. Um, so I think maybe um, just had some virgin queens come out basically take a look around decided hey you know what i'm gonna head on uh, multiple times so, the typical mo for a lot of people is actually cut cells down to about two cells within 
a swarming situation. Like say if you open this up and there were seven cells, you might destroy all but the two best looking ones. I was actually gonna take some cuttings from this, um, but the weather didn't help and got distracted here as goes. Um, lo and behold, I had several emerge at once and uh, I think that was the culprit of what happened yesterday.